<laughs> okay. Easy. Oh my god. What the fuck? Dishamon Pal subscribing. What? My co-commentator subscribing. Hush money. Hush money? Yeah, we cheating. This is a cry for help. Please. <laughs> this is a cry for help. Can you imagine? <laughs> Hear me out. I, I, I don't want to stream anymore. I haven't wanted to for years. What is what, what? Gigify in an emo? What what is his T? Oh, that's not channel points. That's uh. A friend just sent me a clip. I have to see this. <laughs> I love that his name is what I suggested it. Uh, I I told him you gotta go on plus R with the name Shimmy Neutron. He's. <laughs> He's playing Robokai. <laughs> what the fuck was he cooking? Oh! Come on. Oh! <laughs> I didn't realize you got rid of the other sound effects. Yeah, I couldn't point. find the, the, the wave files. Anyways, uh. Guess what, everybody? We're playing. Mario Adventure 3. So, Mary. it's uh, a hack of Mario 3. But it's very advanced. For instance, it gives you two of every item. Wait, so this is on the Game Boy Advance? No, this is a uh, NES. Very funny! <laughs> Oh, look, the water's frozen. I think I'll need the surface to be frozen, sir. Look at how advanced. This is pretty cool, right? And then you can... I like how I this smart. is a tech demo level. I mean, this is a tutorial <laughs> level, sir. There we are. I'm a tech demo, I bet you didn't know that. I mean, what do you mean when I might get- It came out literally a couple days ago! <laughs> You're right, though. But it, you weren't playing it last week. It didn't come out last week. Are you sure? Yeah. Is, is this a hard confirm? Yeah! Oh, hey, look, it's the, the fox suit. Check this out. Oh, shit, you have an up B. Hi, up! You you could do the Sakurai. Oh, you can also swim in lava. As a fox. Yeah, that's what the animal's known for, swimming in lava, don't you know? I guess I did not. I'll take it out and throw the, the frog. Whoa! Just throw one in the lava and see what happens. It'll swim gracefully. Oh lord, was that just RGB frog Mario? I mean, you see. turn invincible. We got the shell. You gotta have this one, right? Ah, I'm ready for you, are you? Oh! Oh, my car. Uh oh. Wait, hang on, no, we're good. We're good. Yeah, you can bounce off those. Anyways, check it out. Hammer suit's back, but check it out, it can break blocks. It can break blocks before? No. And then check this out. Oh, there we go. I'm cool, you can spin dash. And then we have the ninja suit. We can just... That is straight up the ninja blade from Mega Man 3. Speaking of Mega Man, I, I, I found out there's a Mario bootleg of Mega Man 5. Yo? What's it called? I think it's just... I think it's just Mario Man 5 or something like that. Uh, but all it does is just change Mega Man Sprite's face to Mario's face and nothing else. <laughs> so it's Mega Man with a, a mustache and a big nose. That's kind of depressing. Also, hi JC, how you doing? It goes pretty well. 
We're playing a very cool... So, you'll notice that there's like a star menu down there. And uh, every stage has three stars in it. You don't have to get all three, but you can... The goal is to get as many as you can, obviously. Also, you have an air meter. Yeah, cool. I mean, there's all damage in this game. Oh, there is not. But that'd be pretty funny. Cool, we can play Deep Fear now. Quick, 30 air grenades. But yeah, I'm doing pretty good. Also, it's a day and night cycle, too. You'll notice that little moon down there on the on the menu. Oh, I thought it was a sword. Good, it's time to revolt to evolve our Eevee into Umbreon. I thought you were gonna be like, what a horrible night to have a curse. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, checkpoint. Yeah, yeah where, where's the Mario game where you're just going around town jumping on zombies? Uh, I think this Mario is missing. That I mean, day, where day becomes night. Where's the Hotel Mario opening that it's like nice of the princess to crawl her way out of her grave, eh, Luigi? Mario, she's been dead for years. Some annoyance today, but nothing too major. Well, that's good to hear. I mean, hopefully nothing. IRL today, I just dealt with like annoying work shit, but like in the sense that um. I'm just getting like really annoying and weird shifts <laughs> on, a, on a week where I really would rather be home during the evening. Welcome to the workforce. Yep. Welcome. They sound so defeated. I feel so bad for them. Who are they? I mean, he is defeated, but he's not done, you know? When am I not defeated? Um. Battle monsters. <laughs> Until somebody hits me first with their naga. Okay, it, you got me there. That's a weird looking mushroom. Looks like it belongs in like another video game. In a museum? I mean, is there any mushroom museum? Somewhere in the Mario universe. And there's probably, like, a toad being like, Help! Get me out of this display glass! Oh yeah, look at the pea speed underwater. Look at that. Woo! So I might play Super Mario Eclipse again at some point, too. Because I was uh, really enjoying that. You and your open worlds. I mean, I, I I played it to the I played it on the side. I've gotten you know a, a small amount of shines. I got like 180 something. I've actually been playing some uh, a lot of older games on my free time nowadays. Thanks to that, I, I kind of got into retro achievements now. Oh no! Not like like religious, but I'm just like you know, just to boot this up because me and used to like play something older. Oh, have you thought about the achievements for Mohawk and Headphone Jack? Uh, no, sir. I don't even know if that exists. Look it up. Okay. Why don't- why don't you do that? Why would you make me do that shit? It's one of your favorite games of all time! Oh, yeah! They actually have a lot of Mario Rock on that website. Where's the achievements for Skull Jagger? Oh, is there Skull- uh, well, let me look up Mohawk first. God, this game has achievements. <laughs> I think only one person has gotten all the achievements in this game. And it's T! Can you imagine it was B? Well, the Mohawk expert. I think it'd be PJ if anybody. Skull Jagger hat? Oh no, wait, nobody has done achievements for Skull Jagger. There's no achievements for it? There's no achievements for it. There's a date, there's an entry for it, but nobody's done achievements for it yet. 
achievement, get Skull Jagger to get stuck under the bridge. Maybe I could, like, submit achievements and just, like, make it nothing but, like, Game Center BS references. <laughs> Welcome to the Saran Wrap universe. Is that for Sonic Heroes? Dude, that Sonic Heroes playthrough is... <laughs> it's special. It really is. In my heart, I think about it a lot. Rainy. Uh, to be fair, JC, being on an island, I imagine you get rain quite a bit. Yeah, on an adventure island. Oh, yeah. But not to get. Oh, yeah, there's a Zelda bag that came out not too long ago. You might be interested. The Ocarina of Time one? No. NES. What's it called? Uh, The Legend of Banjo. That was a long time ago. Oh. But I do know what you're talking about. Well, I just... I don't know. Anyway. It's pretty cool. Like, decent. I've played it. Yeah, and that's it? Okay. Sorry. No, you're good. <laughs> Pretty cool though, this power up. Cool. I don't know, just seeing the frog suit move this fast is kind of throwing me off. Yeah, it's weird, eh? We did it! Associate that hitting the wall sound with the frog suit, though, funny enough. Alright then. Fuck. Fate Unlimited Codes. <laughs> Wait till the new Mario RPG where Mario does say that every time he gets hit by an enemy. Yeah, it's just like Aladdin for the SNES. <laughs> Fuck! That's <laughs> a cheerful music. But yeah, you know, I, I do like this hack a lot. It's very technically advanced and very cool. This is only World 1, see, with all these weird and wacky gimmicks. Is this, uh, is this complete? Yeah, it's or done. Or is it done? Okay. It's done, yeah. Nice. Also, speaking of nice, you know, uh, pretty hype. Pretty jump to conclusions. Oh, yeah, I mean, that list you sent me, Dish, uh, that's the one I had already. Okay, I, I mean, I, I remember you mentioning it, but you probably, like, already... Yeah, th I still think there's more than that, I'm sure. Oh, I'm sure. But yeah, it is pretty exciting. I, I just thought, you know, it's time. It's finally, finally, finally ripe, you know. And of course you got Blues Brothers in the first episode. Yeah, of course Blues Brothers 2000, which is a fucking horrible piece of shit. <laughs> you know what? It's probably still better than that NES game, though. No, it's not. I tell you the right now. Yeah, I, I would rather play the NES Blues Brothers game. Jeez. Jesus. I think they are more competent 2D platformers than that game is 3 d I... Anyways, I'm glad we have the Metal Blades in Mario. I was always like, that's really what I wanted. I mean, it's the best Mega Man power-up, let's be real. I mean, best like as in most broken, I agree. Yes. Otherwise, it's top spin, you know. Oh, you're right. Is 
that what the Koopa's saying? They probably do. Imagine if it was actually canon that every enemy in Mario just curses when you hit them. <laughs> but it's like in their own unique languages. Like they got slain. Oh god. Goomba slain? Like, due to technical limitations, you can't hear every while you stomp say, You fucking motherfucker! <laughs> but it's like, it's like really crunched up because when you stamp on them, they squish. So it's like, Yeah, because their innards get sloshed, you know? Ooh. I mean, you do squish those Goombas. There's not much else that could happen. Doesn't really leave a lot to the imagination. Are, are we really the bad guys, Pete? No. But it is funny to think about. You know, like, what if Mario but evil? Well, this is not, like, the, the most novel concept. <laughs> I, I'm, about to say, I'm sure that's been done thousands of times. Hey, guys, Mario's high up mushrooms and stomping on animals. Monsters? Mario, they look like monsters to you? I don't know how I feel about this ninja outfit, I'm gonna be honest. I like that it gives them cat ears. Oh, it's supposed to be based on the ninja, isn't it? The ninja. Yes. Ah, uh, I was wondering why he did have cat ears. Wait, are ninjas cats? More reason for them to be your favorite Mario enemy. Or are they not somehow? Oh god. They're pretty ugly. Sat it's actually a sideways inverted cross, satanic imagery. ABGN was right. Oh no. I knew it was a stage play all along. Did you do a stage play in the Satan cult? I can't believe Mario worships Satan. I say it's a good thing. What was that movie? Say? Satan! Come on out, Satan! You're yellow, Satan! <laughs> that, that movie was just called The Killing of Satan, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's yes. what it was, yeah. Which, it was very funny, that movie. Remember, I was really hyped to watch it. Because of the trailers. Don't, I, I haven't forgotten the movie you made us watch, me and Arthur watch, and then you fell asleep to it, and we're just like, well. The one with the wonderful, um, person losing their wig? <laughs> I can't believe they left that in the movie. What, what happened? There, there's a scene where they're, like, in the river or lake, I forget what exactly it was, and they're fighting, and then a guy comes out from under the water and his wig falls off. <laughs> I like the person that, like, falls twice. <laughs> well, like, she falls to her death and then just suddenly gets back up and <laughs> continues shooting. <laughs> Listen, they, they needed another scene for the movie. They had to pad it out. Another thing I've been working on, actually. I've been actually working on my movie backlog. Oh, I thought you were gonna say, Vicky, a movie. I was like, oh. Yeah. Same. I can't wait for Redneck Zombies 2. Oh my god. Oh, you know you know it. I mean, you definitely know the right people, I think, right, Dish? Uh, yeah, unfortunately. You mean, unfortunately. <laughs> you gotta cherish your mud bogging culture, or whatever you said it was. Oh, yeah, mud bogging that thing. You should take me out on that one day. Nah, gotta ruin my car? Taking you mud bogging? You crazy. You have somebody else's car we can ruin? <laughs> yeah, they say, hey, I'm gonna just go <laughs> ruin your truck. I'll be back. I'm gonna hot wire your car to ruin it. <laughs> if 
my, if my dad still had his diesel truck, sure. I've never done it. Because I always thought it was just very bizarre. Oh, what is it? Bug mugging. <laughs> yeah, but like, what, what does that mean? Like, what do you do? You just do wheelies in the mud and just, like, drift. It's really, it, it's as exciting as it sounds. That's very but, awesome. There's a lot of mud. <laughs> well, I would, I would hope! I mean, like, it would be really disappointing if there wasn't. <laughs> you know, like, you imagine, we call it mud bogging, because, uh... You go in the sand, and everybody's like, what? We call it mud bogging, but what we really do is just drive into burning buildings. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy did make it out. I was just curious, so I went to Mugbogging Bo Mug does have a Wikipedia page, but only in one language, and I, and yeah, that's not right. What language is it? It's not even English, it's just simple English. <laughs> that's, what, that's what it's labeled as. Maybe it has a more advanced term. If you think about that... <laughs> Do you mud bog mud with your pinky raised, or do you mud bog without it raised? Hey, you mud bog with your pinky raised. <laughs> Alright, good, 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 good mud bog, a cheerio. Wait a minute. Is a form of off road motor stores popular in the United States and Canada? Uh oh. I've yeah, never yeah. heard any Canadian mention mud bogging my whole life. It's T's darkest secret, <laughs> oh, yeah. T mud bogs. <laughs> the motorsport is overseen by sanctioned bodies like the American Mud Racers Association and the National Mud Racing Organization. No, what? There's two. There's two organizations for mud bogging. <laughs> Wait, that's fucking incredible. There's organizations for fucking up your own car. Wonderful. Yeah. I mean, there's organizations for fucking up people's schools. It's called, well, you know. Yeah. Those are called sororities. And, you know, they're, uh... There's an organization for everything. I mean, like, when I heard that the fucking Penny had a lobby in the United States government... <laughs> we deserve to exist, damn it. Sources for these, trust me, bro. <laughs> Many Ninjas is also Canadian. I can confirm I've never heard anybody talk about mud bogging here either. I, I, I. If that's actually a thing in Canada, I am stunned. Me, me too. Honestly? Oh, of course, Monster sponsors it. Why wouldn't they? You mean Bogster? Oh, right, that's like an energy tank plan. For a moment, I thought you were just talking about actual monsters. Monster, right, monster. <laughs> like those mud people from Haunted Castle are sponsoring it. Wait, what if they're the drivers? <laughs> ah, death. I have awakened from my hundred years of being dead. Now to do some mud bogging before <laughs> I leave. <laughs> I don't know why, I just imagine, like, Soma. As, like, he got the mud bogging soul and he's just driving, like, a diesel truck. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> the mud bogging soul! <laughs> what the fuck soul would that be? You're, like, just spawn a, hit... a truck? That's a hidden Jonathan Charlotte conversation in Portrait of Ruin where Jonathan's like, I can't wait to go mud bogging after this, and then Charlotte's like, The fuck is mud bogging? <laughs> My he, like, dad used to do it. it and, like, it is, like, really great detail. There's something my dad and I used to do back when we knew each other. He's, like, driving the truck, and then he just goes, Scarlet! And she's, like, in the driver's seat all of a sudden. It's like, oh my <laughs> Charlotte, there's something I have to tell you. The, the vampire killer didn't drain my dad's life force. He died from a mud-bogging accident. <laughs> <laughs> no. It 
it is not by my hand that I am once again given 4x4. Four four. What if that was Albus's goal in Order of Ecclesia, to discover how to mud bog? <laughs> oh. This is just one conversation point. I mean, I guess it's better than Janice being like, you know, I'm a little nervous about, like, streaming and stuff, and then coming onto my stream and immediately being like, do you think, like, Crash Bandicoot has MILFs? And I'm like... <laughs> you open it up really strong there, girl. Uh, <laughs> is that how she started the conversation? That was, like, within the, within the first 30 minutes. <laughs> no lie, half, like, half an hour of that VOD is talking about, like... <laughs> Milf appreciation. And for the record, yes. <laughs> At the end of the stream, she was like, do you actually like like that? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Of course. What kind of questions that? Listen, Anna does not exude. No, she's not a milf. No, there's no way. She's like 20. Yeah, not old enough. What about her future self? Still not old enough. Still 20. <laughs> Arpa's got high what standards. Is it, what does it say nowadays? Like, she does not exude big mommy energy. I think is what they say. <laughs> That's, uh, hearing you say the word exude, just... <laughs> for some reason. I don't know what it is. It's like, every time I say, like, a decently intelligent word, it throws you off. I, it's just like, it's just like if you said, like, ah, oh, there's an extrusion in my way, I must clear it out of the way very quickly. <laughs> like, like, I just, it would just feel weird. It's like if you just said the word insubordination. Like, I don't... I, Wait, I think I have. I, I never heard you say it. I'm pretty sure I have, and I, I'm pretty I, sure I threw you off as well. But you probably did. I get the feeling that T considers you the kind of person to go mudbogging. I mean, he told me <laughs> no, about right. it, so I mean, I... It's kind of like an, an internal bias. Like Dude, it's like, I will never forget the first time me and Kame talk on voice chat. And I said, pick him up, truck, and he just died laughing. <laughs> <laughs> he was just like, like, he literally, just... this man's first words to me is like, oh my god, you are southern. He just said, you are so southern. And I'm like, oh, that really, <laughs> that really colored the conversation pretty much right away. <laughs> and I mean, to be fair, you kind of are. But I think it's a charm point. <laughs> well, I'm I'm not really the qualifying party in that regard. Well, I you kind know, of am and you. I'm and I I am and I'm not. <laughs> but you know. All you milfs in the chat. Oh, <laughs> oh lord. <laughs> yeah, little did you know, Dishimon Pa has been working on his milf hunting. Oh lord. I guess I am getting that age, alright. We have, not, riot of the blood. we have not fought Boom Boom. No Boom Boom yet. Which is kind of surprising. I'm 31, do I count as- You know, you're pretty close. Like in five more years, maybe. I think we're getting there. Oh, so I still got another year. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> you'd be a DILF. Excuse me. I'm a DILF. <laughs> you are. Maybe yeah, you know what? What's the legal MILF age limit? Like, like, how old can they be? Well, Let's go. <laughs> there's a point where I, I, mo there's a point where mom becomes grandma. That's like that's like sixty. I hate that I'm on Wikipedia right now and I'm picking the bird MILF. We're gonna find out. It does have an entry. <laughs> Incidentally, it's just. The same Why entry. is this in thirty nine different languages? <laughs> <laughs> because it's universal! This has a Chinese and a Korean yes! language. Yeah, I, I want you to understand, MILF appreciation is worldwide. I, I guess so. I'm just kind of surprised that Are you? China allows the word MILF under internet. Fuck. I'm not. Universal language. The term yummy mommy is also used. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, well, this is the second stream in a row I've had talking about this, so isn't that great? <laughs> you you brought this one. I, I did, but like, you know what? I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. Yeah, okay, so I got some complaints about this page. It does not list a... Oh, never mind. Yes, it does. Uh, 55. Is the cutoff? Yeah, it's, that makes sense. It is the beginning of the milk era, I guess, for a lady. Oh no! I apologize. It is not 55. That is for Glyph. Hey, yeah, that's, that's Grandma. Yeah. Yes. Milf is like, yeah, yeah. What's the starting? Did they have like a? They do not actually. So I guess it's like open to interpretation, but I'm gonna say like 34 or 35. Maybe even like 40. It really depends on who you ask. Yeah, imagine, like, going Wait. up to a lady and say, Hey, baby, do you consider yourself a MILF? <laughs> okay. That's, like, an assigned thing, so I don't... Unless you want to fuck yourself, because that stands for, you know... So, like, if you call yourself a MILF, that means, like, you kind of want to, you know... <laughs> I can't for wait for one day, like, one of these out-of-context clips are yours. Just ends up, like, just uh, I'm, up. I'm, I'm fine with that. <laughs> I mean, even if I wasn't, I'm sure it'll happen. It's, like, T runs for office, and this is, like, used against him. Uh, are, you kidding me? Ted, I, I, are you kidding me? Ted Cruz retweeted MILF porn. Like, that guy's- I- I would have a higher shot of getting in. I'm not even lying, he did! No, he I know, did. I know, I know. For the record, like, that's the only good retweet ever by Ted Cruz. Uh, but he did that. Can you imagine, like, if that guy ever became president? That would have to be in a library. I mean, it already should be, if I'm being really- <laughs> Milfs will become required educational material. Yes. All kids must know the legal age of a milf. <laughs> You're acting like this would not improve the world. Um, it would probably be the one thing you do that improves the world. The one thing. Everything else I do, horrible. But that one, yeah. Yeah, but that one... <laughs> You're right. Are you okay, Arpa? Are you... <laughs> um, I'm fine. Oh, I thought you were laughing. No, not yet. It, it, it was just silence. I heard his, I heard his microphone like... Silence. Yeah, he, he laughs like this. See? That was a good impression, right? Um... Da -da 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 -da. Oh, oh, ah! <laughs> so my like... only complaint about this is that the music is vanilla. Yeah, I was gonna say, uh, one thing I've noticed about like every Mario 3 hack I've ever played is that it seems to- they never seem to change the music. I wonder if it's just part of the program or something. Yeah, bring us the SBC Chaos. You can imagine just the head of thing playing on this level. <laughs> just like, it's just like they did. Does this actually have wind physics? Yes, it does. It also has jiggle physics. Okay, uh... No, I mean, look at his nose. That's, that's still one of my favorite video game magazine article things I've ever seen. It was like comparing DOA to Luigi's Mansion and Jiggle Physics. I'm like, uh. Man, when are we gonna get a Mario game that, like, emphasizes the physics on Mario's moves? I mean, we only recently found out he even had nipples in Mario Odyssey, so we got to give them some time. <laughs> I can't believe you got a statue for me. What? 
Marty, I can't believe he got his tattoo removed. Oh. Yeah, his tribal tattoo did not make it. <laughs> I imagine people just really like the Mario 3 OST. That's probably true. I mean, they like it enough to not want to remove it in, in service of anything else. Unless there's like another patch to this wrong patch that changes the music as an option. Your totally legit copy of the uh, of this game. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I don't know. That you keep stacked neatly next to Mortal Kombat 628 peoples. You guys actually own any bootleg? Idiot, like, oh, not bootleg idiots, just bootleg cartridge. I person is the kind I, of person that would, but... I don't, actually, sadly. I, if I saw 28 peoples at a flea market, I would buy it in a heartbeat. I actually do own one, because I'm such a big, stupid fanboy, actually, on the Final Fantasy VII idiot bootleg. <laughs> I mean, it's probably a better remake than... I'm um, kidding. <laughs> <laughs> nope, that, uh, somebody actually did make uh, a patch for that called Advent Children, and it's actually makes it really good. I have played that, yeah. Unlike the movie. Hey man, hey, we, we don't hear the, Advent Children. The music was pretty good in that. The music was good. That's it. Oh, and, <laughs> and the Buster Sword looked pretty cool. I'll admit. I do like their logic of how they came up with that. They're like, well, Spike had a really big sword. What if he gave them all the swords? Genius. <laughs> hey, what if he had more? What if he had more? And then they just, like, fuse. It's just, like, the scene where he's on his bike, and he's just putting the sword together. Like, it's like, he's, like, doing a gumbla. Right. Imagine, imagine how fucking annoying it must be if he puts it in the wrong spot. It's that awesome. <laughs> That is a- what the fuck? What? This sword's harder to put together than a date with a MILF. Tifa's not old enough for that, so I'm sorry. I mean, Tifa is older than- no way. Who said he was thinking of Tifa? Well, the characters in FF7 qualify? What if Cloud was looking elsewhere? Like, uh... Well, Jesse's dead. She's also not- <laughs> You're understanding the objective here. <laughs> You're missing the plot. Her, what was her name? Madam Elm. He's the- Yeah! Well, no, Bear is a Dilf. He wouldn't be a- uh... Oh, oh yeah, we can spend some of our experience points. Yes, that's right, you heard- you heard me. Experience points. Cloud just puts his dress on Barrett. Wait, get hit 10 times in 100 seconds? What the fuck? You got it, boss. Wait, FF2. FF2. Where's that wrong hat? Mario and FF2. We go forward and back, and then forward and back. Mario for the next Final Fantasy Dissidia. This is the only one that gets that joke. If Square worked on another Mario RPG. Yes! Would you be down if, like, the water quality improved in your neighborhood? Is what you just asked me? Well, okay, to be hey, fair. Hey, would you be cool with a good video game existing? Yeah, because Nintendo would well, be over their shoulder. Well, that would be shoulder. fair. They could be like, yeah, we got the Foam Star team to work on the Mario RPG. No, Nintendo would be over their shoulder the whole time. Yeah, you're right. Which is good. Because it's square. But hey, we get to play the new Mario and Luigi RPG RP where we can go visit Concordia. Hooray. No, they intentionally did that. They did it! The game was... Take an extra hit when fully powered up. Oh, baby. That's weird. You're weird. Well, yeah. Oh, so why is the M's green? Why are your M's not green, huh? There's not an M in my name, sir. Yeah, there is. 
What? The Shaman Pal? Oh, oh, I was thinking about like my legal name. Oh, you mean Josh Woom Duncan? <laughs> that would be weird. Like that your last name is Duncan? Like the Final Fantasy it. character? You know? Like Duncan Hines, which I'm sure you heard a lot. Yeah. Did you actually? I, I, I hear Duncan yo yo this morning. I didn't hear Duncan Hines. What? Not Duncan Donuts? No, because it's spelled. Funny enough, they, they never do that because it's spelled differently. Up, bottom, bottom, bum, bum. Why is he so fast? Why aren't you? Yeah. Oh well. You see, I don't have any excuses. Uh, you could have just said you don't have a frog suit. Yeah, that's that's an excuse. At the end of the day. That's true, because you got a shark shark one. That's true. I should move about this fast in the shark onesie. Shark onesie just lets you eat people. Where's the uh, TTT SD? Mario ROM hack where he's like he gets in a shark suit and he's just like I'm has evil sh has evil Sherm's moveset. <laughs> the flower just looks so weird. Bro, I think you're being a little mean to the flower. It's got eyes. That most living creatures do. No. I don't have eyes. See, he doesn't have eyes. You insist, you jerk. But the hills do. I he just sense. Do. I sense everything cosmically. He's got feelers. Venus Whitehead don't have eyes. Can I have him melt that? At least it tells you if you missed one. That's pretty cool. Too. Yeah, it lets you know. I'm not going for 100% anymore. I gave up. I gave up on the dream musical crash. What's. <laughs> if I did a Kaizo version of this, I would make it worse. I feel like you keep saying that. Guy. Why do you keep saying what? that? If I did a Kaizo version? Because that if I did a Kaizo version. If I made a Kaizo version of your life, if I made a Kaizo version of your life, I would just like replace all like pavement in your house with mud, so that you'd have to mud boggy to work. Are you having a mud bog when you get out of bed? I, I do most houses have pavements. I was gonna say pavement? I don't know. Cement, maybe. Guys, I finally lived my dream. My asphalt carpet. But I won through the mud bogging competition. <laughs> Only the very best. Do you want to win the mud bogging competition with me, Dish? No. Why not? You say ruin, I say start a new adventure. With what? With what kind of money? I didn't say I had that money. What, we gonna steal a truck? Yeah. <laughs> Don't take less of me for punching you into taking your car. We're gonna go mud bogging. And Daytona should have had a mud bogging mode. Mud bogging! Let's yeah, go like away! Yeah, it's like they like sinks in mud. We have him! If I could make a Kaizu version of mud bogging, what would you add? Wow. 
Nah, that's uh, uh, oh. monsters coming out of the mud and dragging you down into it. <laughs> no, quicksand. Not as dangerous as Hollywood makes it out to be. Oh, no. Yeah, well... I like how you just stopped in front of the... He's like, well, shh. <laughs> Oh, we have the, the gimmick. I thought this changes when you jump. Nope. First thing you jump. Oh, it's like on beat, like listen. I don't think it is. Not with the song, but like with the beep beep beep. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I thought you meant the song. So that exists. If you can make a <laughs> Kaizo mud bogging does sound pretty funny though. What if instead of mud bogging in the mud, you mud bog in a sea of flames? Can't take the heat. They are in the streets. What if you mud bog but the mud has leeches in it and your windows are open? Oh god. <laughs> Oh, it's all over me. And also those, great. uh, hornets. Great. Great Resident Evil's gonna start now. I mean, image of, like, Chris Redfield, Mug Balkan. He seemed like the kind of guy. I mean, Dish's favorite Resident Evil is Zero. True. Wait, really? Yeah. <laughs> is this surprising? Kind of, I figured your favorite would be like 4 or something. I mean, I like 4, don't get me wrong, I think it's a fantastic game. Oh, uh, you don't think it's a good game? I just said fantastic! No, you don't I think it's a good game. This can't believe you RE4, what the fuck? That, that, believe it or not, there are RE4 haters. Oh well, yeah, everything has haters. Just like how I hate you. No, I'm just oh, kidding. No, just Winnie the Pooh have haters? Probably. The president of China, for starters. Dang it. You're right. Like, it, I think it's cute. What they did here is like, oh, you know, Mario's in a, you know, he's black, you know, you only see his face. But I feel like that might be... Oh my god. I think I might get in the way of you being able to accurately pinpoint your platforming skills. Oh my god. Morning, Garador. We, uh, we, we out here. Doing his uh, his jumping thing. Arpa's doing his uh, Arpa thing. Yeah, well, you know what the Arpa thing. Mud bogging. Yeah. 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 So it's like a five second film thing. I'm mud bogging. That does sound like a five second film thing. How do you say that? Oh my God! Look what it is. It's a reference. Yeah, November's gonna be a great month. This is gonna take me mud bargain. Wait. You said you would. What? You're coming out in November? Yeah, to go mud bogging with you. I don't know where you're gonna stay. There's just an empty shed right now. <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> I honestly could, is the worst part. There's like no power. I could just sleep. Go to bed. 
just get slapped. You wouldn't survive without the internet. Would you? No. I mean, honestly, cat pictures kind of power the world right now. If you really consider the state of things. I don't have ninja suit. Guys, the blue? I don't know what that is. Is that a game? Or... Oh, pipe time. Oh, blue sky? Oh, I don't know. I probably should make one. They have video support. Once they have, like, full clip support. <laughs> My ass needs to, to, to cliff clip post. Is this still in-fight only on that? Nope. Oh, okay. I don't know. I, I, I guess I'll join once Twitter's, like, officially dead. The thing is, like, even if it's not full of idiots now, it will be later. Right. If well, that's not the point. Big. That's not the point. Whoa. Only 60 seconds, 50 MB support, and 30 FPS. Oh, that's fine. It can fit my two FPS clips. I mean... I guess I won't experience any losses if I submit, like, virtual highlight clips. <laughs> I forgot about the air meter. So what are those? Checkpoints? Yep. Okay. Actually, they're just flags with Mario's head on them that he collects for fun, you know? Oh. He likes collecting his own head. You think Mario collects his own merchandise? You think he we goes... know it exists in the Mushroom Kingdom. Do we? Yeah, uh, Mario RPG. Oh, true, there are Mario dolls. That Thwomp is angry, dude. He is very upset. He's red, Mario. he's going up and down. Mario, I'm kind of scared of you collecting all these figmas of me, says Princess Peach. Now, we know Peach has a lot of, uh, a lot of merchandise. She Strangely, it's of Bowser. Now she's like, I only collect figures of my brother. I'm very Look, proud I'm, of him. I'm just trying to push Luigi over, okay? Mario is William Regal. <laughs> well, they baited me. Oh. The thing in my collection is the Luigi cookie sheets. Look, my cookies are shaped like Luigi. I was thinking, like, man, I, I'm not collecting any stars. I'm really fucked up. And then I was like, wait, there's no stars. Luigi secretly collects Funko Pops! Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Look, Mario. It's, 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 it's the cookie monster. It's, it's like one of the better looking ones. Mario, my figurines have no soul! Mario, they're making a Funko, a Funko video game! I can play as Freddy Fazbear! Rick and Morty said it, Mario! Rick and Morty! A box of Rick and Morty, Luigi! <laughs> I'm morbid, Luigi! <laughs> I'm gonna throw a knife at you in your sleep, Luigi! <laughs> Yo? What? You think Luigi would be a FNAF fan? Probably not. A 
don't know. Horrified. He's terrified of that game. No, but I feel like if Luigi was a streamer, he would be a horror streamer. Despite not liking the horror. Mario, like, let's I, I just see Luigi doing like the uh, like playing Slender Man and just like losing his mind. Oh my god. Mario, it's my favorite game, Manhunt! He I mean, speaking to laugh his ass off at somebody being brutally murdered with a crowbar. <laughs> Mario, where are you going? Mario! Right after another like couple minutes. <laughs> yeah, he like rarely gets into the lore. So, so you know, there's, there's there's spring trap Mario, and uh, he's way often, but you know, he's, he might also be a vampire too. I was like, what the Legend. fuck are you talking about, Luigi? It's a game for kids in their high school years trying to. Oh, no, no, the movie was rated. Wait, what was the movie? Was it rated R? No, there's no movie. No, it was not. They had to. It they was... had. They, they would have if they didn't have to worry about all the fucking children watching it. <laughs> I know there's a second movie coming out. Anyways, I'll be rated X. This. Good hack, though. It's very, very good. Very good. Now, okay, Arpa. Uh oh. I'm putting our fate, my like our fate, into your hands. Do you want Mario Eclipse or do you want the other one? What's the other one? It's a Mario World hack. What do you want? Pick. Um. Um. Other one? I don't know. <sighs> okay. I'm not good at choices. You can pick Mario Eclipse. I can't believe you. Why would you not pick the Mario Sunshine? Oh, well, one? if you're not good at choices, here you go. No, I'm not playing Panic at the Mario Disco. No, it's a random scheme. Oh, that 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 does look pretty good. <laughs> you talking about the Mega Man? No. Oh. The Mega Man Mario one is pretty funny though. I was thinking of this this beautiful act that's it's got a demo now. I mean, whatever you prefer to play, really. All right, Mario Eclipse, it is. <laughs> All right, <laughs> we're going back. Did it pass? To play the shady games that suck ass, you'd rather have. Luigi, what the hell do you mean you can't help me with the clog? I'm playing Dead by Daylight Mario! <laughs> Actually, there's another Mario hack we could do that came out kind of recently. I'm teabagging the killer Mario! It's it's better than Brooklyn! It's, it's better than Brooklyn. For the record, um... What the fuck is this? Okay, the... Okay, wait a fucking... <laughs> <laughs> That gong sounds in the What plays. the fuck is this? Why is this playable? Is it an Ace Attorney mod with Mario? No. <laughs> this is... That's a bloodstained crowbar, Luigi. It's evidence. Don't touch it. <laughs> I don't think we can play that. <laughs> I, I, oh. Oh, that one. That one looks special. All right, we've got Super Mario World: The Adventures End, and then maybe I'll play that other one. <laughs> I mean, that other one is so tempting. I mean, it's only one exit. Oh, it's an only one exit. <laughs> you know what? Oh no. Rude language. 
<laughs> Why is that a tag? <laughs> No, I think I have to send that to my friend to play. Oh, oh, that's that's so fucked. That's a homicide, Luigi. You didn't make it. The you reference, what I'm it. talking about, is uh, there's a. <laughs> I need more viewers for that. Oh, I. Oh. Oh my God. Alright, well, we're going to play The Adventure's End, as it's called. Which is very appropriate, because, you know... You know, it's like End of Days, but with Mario. Yeah, he's going to die. He's going to be like, It's my tombstone, Luigi. I'm in it. It's the end of Evangelion, Luigi. We're all fucked. Alright, can you see it? But oh, you can't. Of course, course not. <laughs> you can play as Luigi, apparently. I'm just, just gonna press start. It's this? not even in English! I can't even read it! Oh, okay, cuz I thought Oh, what the fuck, fuck is uh, that? I'm not chocolate! Um, somebody got. Murdered, I guess. Oh, that is a good walk cycle, Luigi. All right. Oh, fuck. Dude, I love this music. You know, it's the... These are cute Luigi sprites. What, you mean like the... Just all of it. Uh... Hard work, I said I remember I have to... Ugh! We the long jump in this hack. <laughs> okay, look, look. Huh? Look. Don't worry about me. I'll be okay. You missed the, uh, your I know, but it doesn't matter. They don't doesn't save the fuck. You died. You missed it again. I know, but I, I'm not collecting them because it doesn't doesn't save the ones that I got after before I died. Well, you don't want the satisfaction of just the the noise. No. Is this like a... What?! A I'm, I f no... Mm -hmm. No, that's technically true, because his last name is Mario. Some people only call, like, you know, their last names. But true. Um, Danger... Oh no, not salt water! It's Mario, true. I'm allergic to water! Fuck! <laughs> He's like a Belmont. You might have to play Super Mario Eclipse. Why, why do these sands have, like, mold on them, by the way? Mold? Oh, is that what you're talking about with the spreading thing? No. I just don't know how there's, like, pillars of sand that are just so straight and rectangular. I'll show you a rectangle. Oh no. No, I'll be like Mega Man X, uh, X7, that one boss. Triangle! Oh. I'm. Ah, oh, this level design! My passion. You know. 
I'm generally surprised you have never taken a crack at making a Mari ROM hack. Mm. Even if it's just like a level pack. Well, I guess Mario Maker kind of got your satisfaction with that. Look, I'm surprised I never made anything for Mugen. Wait. Yeah, you know. I, uh, I think we're just going to play Super Mario Eclipse. Alright. So this hack, uh, has a lot of cool new stuff. Arpa. It's a hack of Mario Sunshine. I don't think you were here the last time I played it. I was here. No, you weren't. Oh, okay. But you were, though? I was yeah. there last Monday. Fuck. <laughs> what, is that a bad thing? I was hoping I could surprise him with some like new stuff, you know? I feel like I'm just a bad friend now. I can't even show him anything new. Like, that's like I can't even show myself anything new. And the entropy was new. Uh, no, Entropy was in Crash Warped. Oh yeah, but like, he's kind of like new, you know. I'm waiting for it to capture. Come on. Um. You can see I, I've, I've done a little bit on my own. Whoa, did you see that? You know, I like the title screen. If you're not looking too much at it, it looks like it's Super Mary. It it's goes. Super Mario. Isn't this comforting and relaxing? It makes me feel like I'm dying. We're all born to die, sir. I still can't get how dark it is. I think you should stop being such a dark person. Start being like brighter, you know. Have you seen the outside world? <laughs> True. I mean, it is nighttime where I am, so kind of dark. Oh, well, same. The T and Dishimon Pal stands for dark. Are you ready? Here we go. This is everybody's favorite mission, I'll have you know. Is it? No! <laughs> But I've gotten quite good at it. That's terrifying. You missed break. I I know. Okay. <gasps> you missed the I. I the D and Dishimon Pal is about to stand for dead as a doorknob, you don't stop! Ah, <laughs> uh, you hit pillar. I'm throwing my controller at your head. <laughs> Actually, yeah, how come they never made me squids uh, a card in Mario Kart, like, based one off of it? Good question. Oh, okay! Well, I guess we don't need music. The T and T T T S D stands for bad. Too bad, excuse me.
it is kind of eerie, you know, when, uh, that's your second break when you miss, but, uh, it's, it Third, is kind of actually. Eerie. I apologize. Fourth. <laughs> oh my god, you're doing this on purpose Fifth. now. I wonder if anybody's gone out of the way to try to max out that clock, that timer, to see if, like, okay, does this, like, run back? Oh, wait, no, it's counting down. Oh, he's on me. Okay, don't crash into that boat. What the fuck? No. No, 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 no. No, yeah. Yeah, that's about right. I think there was a way to get off. I don't remember what it was, though. That's the slowest one, too, isn't it? Oh, uh, yeah. Because they increase the speed here, right? In the front end. I think so. It definitely feels like the... The red one definitely feels pretty fucking uncontrollable. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Wait, there's been cell- uh, or there's been CDI emulator progress? Never underestimate the YouTube poop community. You know I mean, they, they literally remade CDI Zelda for PC, let alone, <laughs> like, needing an emulator at that point. Yeah, let's let's be real. Outside of the, the CDI, you know, the Zelda and the Mario games, is there anything else really... To emulate on it? Not really. Uh, Mutation Nation, I guess, is worth a look, just because it's the same animation team for the cutscenes. I mean, I am mean uh, is another one, but it's not on CDI. Yeah, that's PC. Though I am mean is amazing. It's actually a good game. Whoa, whoa! Did you see that? I did see that. What? And don't forget about the sequel, Chill Manor, where. You get the big plot twist where somehow I am means a married man. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I actually got that in my YouTube generator folder. That ending. Don't you know that the M stands for married? I'm married. What <laughs> word? Oh my god. Dude, I did not have this much trouble when I was playing this casually. Uh, <laughs> it was happening. I didn't. No, you leave me the fuck alone, buddy. You can't even get past the big fish and like baby ass Mario ROM hack levels. I don't want to hear the sass from you. The big fish? What? What? What are you talking about? Well, I'm gonna play the buddy number nine Mario hack and then just like use dive in World One over and over again. In yeah. World One, World One, World One. Look, Hello, at least... my name is Dishmon Pal. Have you seen how I play Mario games normally? Yeah. Badly. I mean... It... Yeah, I know, right? At least there are no Mario ROM hacks with rhinos. Outside of Reznor. I was gonna say, that. What if somebody did, like, just replace all the enemies with a Reznor and nothing else? And they run after you? Yeah. Dude, the Sonic rhinos? I'm, I'm glad you put a compilation. Rhinos in it did, like, a Mario World ROM hack. I'm glad you made, like, a, a full compilation of that. That made me really happy. <laughs> yeah, I should do stuff like that more often. The Rhino compilation was quite great. I'm not gonna lie, as soon as ARPA did that really cool artwork, I made it the thumbnail of that video. <laughs> Shout out to ARPA. Hi, I'm Arpa. Yeah, that's Arpa. He's right there.
Yeah, it's Arpa. You're not gonna believe it. Very, very talented artist. Yeah. I'll show you artistic talent. the least straight Mario's ever, like the least straight thing Mario's ever done, you know, spraying another man. I don't get it. Yeah, the least straight thing he's ever done next to having sex with another man. Oh, true! I get Mario. See, I've not made a Kaizo hack of this. Every time you would go- Stop saying if I made a Kaizo hack! <laughs> Listen, I can't react to your stream no more. I gotta do something else, okay? You know, you're gonna Kaizo hack my stream? Every time I get like a bit donation, I'm gonna have like a fucking internet issue? <laughs> <laughs> that would be pretty funny. It would not. Okay, oh, hey, so remember how this, this game has those interconnecting areas? Yes. That I really like? Because they have like that really relaxing music and the. Yeah, it turns out they all have a shine in them, too. They do? Yep, all of them. So check this one out. Did you find that out on your own? No. No. Okay. You know, View, no lie, this hack kind of is Mario Peak Shine. This is the most fun I've ever had with Mario Sunshine. It feels weird to hear myself in that. I can't stand my voice in videos, JC. That, that I, I, I can understand. I just can't stand myself when I look in the mirror. There's no way you feel that way. Well, one point there was. I say, but then I lost my weight. Now yeah, now the only thing that weighs on you is your sins and the body that you buried. <laughs> Why did he bury the body on top of himself? Mario. They'll never think to look there. You like Airtel Rock? Oop. This is the level. The new. It's just a new level. Did oh, you... I thought I thought you were like talking about a, a genre of music, and I'm like, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> You ever see the stage art, Bill? I yeah, don't think I stage. have. I mean, he might not have been on the stream when we did this one. He was there since the beginning, when you started it. No, he wasn't. Yeah, he was. Prove it. Don't In actually fact, give us behind. I was actually the streamer. I mean, Arpa, you don't remember this level, though, do you? Probably not. I like to imagine one day, like, you do a jumping into the woods, but it's just Arthur pretending to be you. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. Ignore the muffled screaming in the background, I am T5SD. Oh, here we go. Wow, this... This fits in a little shit. It's pretty crazy, right? Oh, yeah. Is this what you know, you know what, though? We're not even gonna do that first. Why not? I don't want to. <laughs> oh, what? Why'd you enter it? I, I, I thought of something. <laughs> what was that pose? He pose. That's in the T5 pose. Do you do the T5 pose? I do. It's just when I stand up in the morning, that's the T5 pose. <laughs> you just stand up. You just stand up. That's so powerful. Yeah, you, you see that trick you just did? That momentum and speed? I can never do that. You can in this. No, I, I mean, me as a player, I can never do that. Anyways, we're gonna go to Geovane Creek. 
Or Giovanni? I don't know. So this is a really pretty area, right? With, with nice music. I found out where the shine was by exploring. Super cool. Okay, what's in the waterfall? Yeah. This is surprisingly pretty. But it just looks like a little Zelda thing. Isn't this cool though? The music is so... Oh. <laughs> well, it was. I heard... Oh! So eBay just sent me a thing, and I have no idea why. It's a, just for you, Garfield shirt. What? Why? I mean, you're a Garfield fan, are you not? Am I? Am I? I think you are. I mean, I like cats. I like Garfield as a cat. <laughs> eBay knows what you want. Yeah, I mean, I sent... This is, yeah, this is Mario Sunshine if they locked in, no lie. Ah! Oh my god, there's a lot of these guys here. <laughs> yeah. I don't remember the thing this many. So we gotta go here and we gotta do a couple shines, then we gotta go to Noki Bay and we gotta do a couple shines, then we gotta go to Lighthouse Island and do a couple shines. And then, then you'll see I, I, I'm I'm doing something very important. Okay. Does it evolve a certain green character? Uh, not quite. No, it doesn't involve Koopa Troopa. <laughs> yeah, conspicuously is also not in this game. I always did like how the sand physics work in this game. Or I, I guess not sand. Did you play this game before as a kid? I play, I did play this when it came out back in the day, because my uh buddy not my sister of all people had this game. It was, it was, it's actually pretty cute. Me and my, my uh, not me, my, my younger brother and my younger sister actually sat down and attempted to beat this game hundred percent during one summer. How'd that go? They're like, yeah, we're gonna team up. They both died at oh. the end. <laughs> oh no. They lost their lives to Mario Sunshine. That's that's, that's It was it was one of the greatest anime tragedies of all time. <laughs> Made number three on the list. Yeah, if you didn't you go back and beat Sunshine though at one point? I wonder if this has been updated again. Since I last played. <laughs> <laughs> Tower. <laughs> you should you should stream this one view or at least play it. I think you would enjoy this this a lot more than the base game. The view's too powerful of a streamer because when he streams, everybody stops to go watch the view. Yeah, I mean, you. I remember you telling me you did not have a great, good time. Which, to be fair, neither did I when I restreamed Mario Sunshine. I wish I was a streamer. But this, this got, this got me to say Mario Sunshine could have been good, which I never would have said before. It could have been a contender. Please stop you referencing that Capcom tape. Mario. Uh, the original, yes. This? No. Uh, yeah, I'm just talking about Sunshine. Vanilla. Oh, easily. I think Mario Sunshine has like the worst of everything in 3D Mario as a base game. Worst levels, worst, uh... <laughs> I don't know why it does that. My favorite the, the, song. The way the song gets right now with these guys screaming is, uh... I don't know, I feel like it's an EXE about to happen or something. From the EXE Beast. The EXE Beast. Hello Jack, this is pretty fun. Mario! Mario! Mario. <laughs> Same brain. I do remember 
when this game came out back in the day and seeing the sand phoenix and thought that was the coolest thing ever than playing the level and like uh... Jack, that is literally not true. I don't know, you have mentioned that uh paying taxes is fun. What? What? What did I say that? Uh it might have been a passing joke, but you did say it. Okay, that that is literally. Oh my god! Oh my god! Ooh, ooh, I'm giving you a fucking. I'm giving you a swirly. Oh I'm giving you a swirly. Oh god, he's morbid. I, I am. <laughs> Actually, I want a copy of that movie. I need to sit down. And watch it. Of course you do. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Why wouldn't you? Motherfucker, managing to destroy my KOF monopoly. Dude, I was so over the moon when I found that movie at that store. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> I was stuck. I know I could probably order it online somewhere this whole time, but I was so stubborn to find that thing out in the wild. <laughs> uh oh. And I found it at a bookstore of all places. And now you gotta get the novelization. Is there is there actually a novelization? If there is, I'll probably be disappointed. <laughs> I gotta look this up now, hold on. There's no way you actually believe him. No, because <laughs> I know Dragon Ball Evolution's have a novelization. So if Dragon Ball Evolution's can have one, why can't King of Fighters? Uh, because Dragon Ball is one of the biggest media franchises. So it's King of Fighters. No, in, it is not. In some countries. Like, I think even as big as it is in Latin America, I don't think it compares to Dragon Ball. <laughs> yeah! I don't know. If you go walk up to somebody on the streets over there, they'd be like, hey. Don't worry, though. Cristiano you might not Ronaldo. Know who Goku is, but you know who Terry Bogard is, right? Yeah, I mean, Terry Bogard's gonna meet Cristiano Ronaldo. Dude. That's crazy. That so, is this game truly was a masterpiece of superior game design, infinite gameplay variety, creativity, and like I remember you reading that to me, and me going like, "How the fuck were they saying that about Mario Sunshine?" Well, people were saying about Bubsy 3D back in the day. So. They were not. They said that game was dead. <laughs> no, I'm sure that was somebody back then. Was like, this is revolutionary. I'm sure there was, and then you know, people can lie. But like lying on mass is what got me. Was Sunshine the point in your life where you couldn't trust game journalism anymore? No, because as a kid I enjoyed this game. So I thought they were right. Do you think? Oh, okay. Oh no, it does not sound much better. Wow! This old couple is really, you know, they're really brave. It's like, oh, look, honey, a giant caterpillar. Stampeding right towards us. That's fine. Do you like the song? It's a song. I love that it's like a specific segment. It doesn't really make much sense as to why. Okay, so I can confirm that there is no novelization of the King of Fighters movie. <laughs> What a letdown. What the fuck was that? What the fuck is there that? was a novelization of King of Fighters 96. Specifically. So. Is there a chapter that just has nothing but Coco Ka written in it? <laughs> Actually, it looks like it's more about geese than uh. Yeah, that was the final boss of 96. Oh, 
Peter at video games also mentioned the game is better than like Super Mario 64. Now how did you get this? Well, you know what, though? The water looks great. Thanks, Dish. <laughs> I'm glad I have you here to tell me that. This game has water. This game has water. It's like the Capcom's game is scenes of violence and gore, but instead it's this game has water, scenes of water. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought this was Mario Sunshine, not water. Also, that Shredder's Avenge DLC came out, which I can't believe. Just, just they just shadow dropped Shredder's Revenge DLC with a new soundtrack. I. What? Yeah, but Phoenix ain't included. Uh, why the fuck Mondo Gecko though? The fuck is um, Mondo I think Gecko? it has to do with like him being a prominent character in the new, new series. I think. I just know everyone that is that was in the Alien Turtles Nest Spider, and that's it. Oh, and in the first movie, because I saw that with Neighbor Kids when I was little. The Neighbor Kids. Oh, they're added uh, animalities to the new Mortal Kombat. Yep. That's been a while, I think for a while, yeah. Well, I just saw Sindel's uh, spider thing, and uh, people are freaking out. Spider! Wait, spider. Is, it, is it nasty, or is it...? Uh, well, you know people got arachnophobia, right? Well, <laughs> I thought you were going to say you know people got erections, right? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, a giant spider! You know, there's that one Borgy game. What's an erection? Yeah, she just... Uh, yeah, um, Sindel just turns into a Nazi. That's it. So what is this okay. animality, though? What does she do? Uh, she just, like, eat you? Like, what's, what's a spider? Uh, it's a drooling spider. All it does is drool, that's it. Yep. Yes. My oh. mother actually has arachnophobia, and when she played Resident Evil for the first time back many, many years ago... Oh boy. <laughs> it, it was funny. Is it, is it, is it the mother that, that you, that's still around, or no? I would hope so. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> so wait, she, she played Resident Evil? Yeah, she, she's the one that got me into the series. And she, that must have been great when she got to the spiders, huh? He's like, she lost her mind. She's like, she, she screamed. It was, but okay, look, back in the day, the graphics were very impressive. Okay. I mean, looking at Resident Evil One versus Two and Three is still really funny. It really is. The FMVs are pretty good though. Yeah, my favorite Resident Evil 1 FMV, the one where the zombie looks like a styrofoam clown. Hey, man. Why are you making fun? But it was very scary styrofoam. I don't know, I just wish the whole thing was live action, just like the opening and ending. Oh, the live action is so good. Yes. Dude, see, when you saw Wesker, <laughs> And that playthrough, that, that still cracks me what up. What did I do? When you saw Wesker in that photo towards the end of the game. Oh. I mean, who didn't laugh their ass off? I like the quote William Burkham on the left. Yeah, yeah. Don't he we, uh... somehow looks even more out of place than Wesker. He just looks so photoshopped. Don't we all look like styrofoam? He was like, oh man, Johnny Bumbo. I feel like a styrofoam clown right now. 
I think my favorite part of that FMV opening is either Chris looking so disgusted or Jill looking like she's smiling while saying, Joseph! <laughs> Oh, we still don't know. Was it the voice actors or was it the people in the FMV that we don't know all their true identities? The FMV, I think we only recently know who Jill is. Okay. Who, who is it? I forgot her full name, but like she just went by Enza for years and years. And then it was only recently where they got, like, the full name. That's crazy. There was, like, one video on YouTube where we had the actors for Wesker, Chris, and Rebecca looking back at First Resident Evil. Yeah. Rebecca's actress, like, internally thinking, oh, if this was the novel, I'd have such a bigger role, you wouldn't even know. <laughs> you wouldn't even believe. You wouldn't know, because nobody read that shit. Novel I do okay. like how the comic book series back in the day, where they had Rebecca in it, and they, they don't know, it's like, Rebecca, what are you doing here? It's like, I, I don't know. I don't know which ending's canon in this series. Yeah, Chris and Jill argued over which ending was canon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, I like that one issue with the werewolves, which accidentally kind of just predicted village. Yeah, that did happen. Uh, oh, oh. Nope, I had that ready. Only it predicted eight feet tall vampire ladies. Still need to play village. Same. I mean, I've heard people say it's good. It is, probably. The fuck you mean? I probably, probably. probably like it a lot more than us, Seven, but I haven't played Seven yet either. Seven is good, I hear. What about you, Arthur? What is. do you think about Seven, Arthur? It is. Definitely. No, Arthur, I remember you telling me Seven is the worst Resident Evil I've ever played. <laughs> yeah, it's so bad. Like, I tried to shoot the zombie, but I didn't press the button, so I didn't shoot and I died. <laughs> worst Resident Evil game. Worst in guiding. Oh god. Worse than Resident Evil 2 Gamecom. <laughs> yeah. Did you see the Symphony that I Gamecom for it, Arpa? Yes. Man, <laughs> we really missed out on that one. Did we watch. Did, I think we watched the, the Stop Skeleton Some Fighting video on it, did we not? Where they we went did through not. the whole thing? Oh my god. Oh, have, you, have you seen everything on it, Arpa? Um, I've seen gameplay. So that video covers everything that's in there. And there's a surprising amount of things, Arpu. It has a message from the developers that reads, Help us. I mean, trying to port that, I can only imagine. What if there's a message that you're like, Beware of Konami. You'll know later on. <laughs> Be wary of Galactus. Be wary of Galactus. It has a message in there that's like, Order of Ecclesia is going to be the last Metroidvania. It's barely gonna count. Well, hey, you know, at least we got a haunted castle. Right here. It's him, the guy from Zelda. It is. Weirdly. <laughs> I... Why is why is he disguised as him? Is it ever explained? No. This just he's just larping. Uh, you know what? If you want to, you if you want to be a, whatever they're called, piatas, piatas. Yo, did you see that? Did you see that shit? I get the B plus. Fuck you. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's very impressive. I can never do that. Go <laughs> boy. You have grown ever so- What do you mean gr We just met! I don't know the sense of timing and scale in this game. One second. For all we know. 
For all we know, that entire mission could have taken like 30 years. Oh my god. Yeah, I think he comes up the hill, he's like, I got a gray beard. <laughs> <laughs> it's Death Stranding. <laughs> no, we're on the beach that makes us old. <laughs> I need to play that game too. Well, I don't, I don't know if I ever gonna play Death Stranding, honestly. I'm surprised we haven't seen more Strand-like games, you know? Oh, they're, they're on Steam. No way. D no, there's a, there's a lot on Steam. There's, like, they, there's an anime waifu one, believe it or not. That uses old there's black an and white stock footage. Everything. This is true. There's an anime waifu version of me on Steam, for all I know. How does that make you feel? I don't know. How does it make you feel that you probably have an anime waifu version of yourself on Steam? If anybody even knows who I am, I will be stuck. And it will look like Flan. It's very specific. And we'll go, oh, the Harl! Oh, Jesus Christ, I did, I did say that, didn't I? You did. I did. You did. There's, there's footage out there of me with a goblin voice. So, you know, good luck finding it if you're curious. I don't know if it's still on the person's channel or not, to be honest. Huh? You know it's what? It's not. I was gonna say, it's lost media, but that's okay. That's okay. No, I know somebody who still has, like, saving, recording savings of them. What the fuck, really? They're, pro they're probably gonna use it as blackmail against me. Do they actually have recordings of these? Yes. That's funny. Otherwise, so, I know you. I know you, I bet you'd want me to do this mission, but I'm not going to do this mission. Why not? For sure. Uh, Give me a good reason. Okay, right, check it out. <laughs> okay. You, you got it. There you go. Isn't this pretty, though? Only I could be so pretty. I do love the music in these. It just reminds me of uh, the Melee All Star areas. It's not liminal in the sense that it's creepy. It's just like very relaxing. Right. It's like yeah. little. It's like little pockets of nature. Yeah. I really like that because if you ever, if you ever traveled anywhere, you know that there are places like this where like you That's can just, just off the beaten path and just like just tucked away. Yeah. Yeah, and they're not even like tourist attractions. They're just very pretty. There's a couple of those spots in uh, West Virginia that are uh, really good. West Virginia, Mount Baba. Or the damned views or whatever the fuck that lyric was. <laughs> Listen, I know the whole AI music thing is terrible, but oh, I man. will always like that thing. <laughs> I mean <laughs> that that is that was like the oldest iteration of it back when it was yeah. just complete garbage. Yes. <laughs> I don't actually know if music has, has been something that has been able to crack. I haven't heard anything of those developments, so... Uh... I... So, you want to hear a depressing thing? What? Uh, I had a co-worker who was listening to AI-generated music, where it was, uh... PD... Not PD, uh... I think it was 50 Cent. Singing over Kanye West music. And I'm like, why are you listening to this out the open? <laughs> It was very bad. Truly. I want to say it was 50 cents. It sounded like this. But who knows? What who knows? You see, it's the AI thinking it's 50 cent, but being someone else. Yeah, it's like 20 pence. Remember when Coke tried to do an AI soda? What? Yeah, there was an AI flavored soda. I 
don't even want to imagine what that tasted like. Bland. Coca 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 Coca. Yeah. Coca Cola. That's good. Coca 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 Folks, Y3000 comes in zero and full sugar varieties. I like how this is immediately overshadowed at the end of this article. It's like, by the way, you can try their superior team up of Jack Daniels and Coca Cola. Yes, you should be try the uh. I, I've seen the Oreo flavored Coca Cola, which is horrifying to me. Oh, you reminded me they did a Peeps flavored Pepsi. Did a what? They did a Peeps flavored Pepsi. Peeps? Peeps. What, what is that? The marshmallow thing that looks like uh, chips. I've never seen it. Real? I guess it's not a thing in Canada. Let's see what's in Somolento Grove. See, like, this is so pretty. Peeps are definitely available in Canada. Okay. But, like, isn't this great? I, I love this. I think these areas might be like one of my favorite things in this hack. I somehow. wish somebody can make a successful liminal video game, but it's really hard to pull that off in a video game where it's just nothing but like just exploring little areas like this and try to make it, yeah, you know, try to make like a gameplay link of it. Yeah, I think they they definitely feel better in in this situation where they're just like filling out areas. But... Right. It's almost like that's what little space is a part of the game. What's the actual definition? Like a trans, a transist, trans, 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 uh, tra uh, Transylvania? Uh, Transylvania. Uh, transition. That's the word I was trying to So, all in, are all the vanilla levels here? Yes. Okay. It is it is all of base Mario Sunshine for better or for worse. With uh, additional levels tagged on. You actually play this on a GameCube? Uh yes. Okay. I believe it does work on real hardware. This guy again. This fucking guy. Can you imagine if this is actually the exact same guy from before? Instead of just like just a different one. I think it is. It's him again. I hate this guy. It is this guy. I think the funniest thing about Gooper Blooper is that, like, at this point, you fought him so many times, he doesn't even have his boss team anymore. He knocked it out of him. Is it that this guy has become, like, a joke boss in the Mario series? Like, is he, he's, like, normally a first boss in the RPG. Isn't he? Doesn't make Paper Mario anyway. Uh, only in Thousand Year Door. Yeah, because I guess he was awful. I mean, blooper, this is a different blooper than like a regular blooper. It's scooper blooper, but I mean, like, I guess if you think about it. As a concept, I guess. Oh, my kidney stone! Yeah, we got it.
red coins in a bottle. Oh yeah. I don't think Gooper Blooper ever made it out. I know Petey Piranha became a very recurring Mario character. Funny stuff! Petey Piranha survived. These guys didn't, though. These type of NPCs. I don't recall seeing them outside of Sunshine. Oh yeah, we're coming up to the most terrifying... Let me let me sneak out. He fucking puts Mario in a bottle. By the way, let's think about that. He does do that. Like what a Shut horrifying Shut up in one concept. of the uh, Mario Kart games. He's like, oh, all okay. right, Mario, time to train you. And, like, don't dive in the water. <laughs> Check this shit out. He just fucking... He literally just wants to imprison Mario in the bottle, dude. Isn't there, like, a famous villain who does that, like, puts people in bottles? There's a, there's a hero that does it. It's the Master Roshi. <laughs> Alright, you got me there. Anyways, uh, these water controls are, uh... What if people got the same feeling of... from Sunshine as they did with 64? Like, you know how 64 kind of gave people that eeriness a little bit to it with its levels? Well, not all its levels, I should say. I wonder if, like, people felt that way with, like, any of Sunshine stuff. I Octane Nightmare Fuel Super Mario Sunshine. Every copy of Sunshine is perfect. Like imagine going up to like your your Noki grandfather and he's like, Alright son. We're about to put you in the bottle. <laughs> no! Not the bottle, Dad. Anything is this but where that. that um that book everybody talks about? Is is this the level with that? A book? Was it a book? Book? That's like behind a door or something, underwater. What? Uh, uh. Yeah, it was a book. It's an unused book in Noki Bay. It's behind a. It's like behind a door. If you like adjust the camera, you can see it, and people are like, "What's he doing there?" The Mansa Ray level is based on a Stephen King book. Oh, yeah, that is true. That is true. Yeah. And also, one of my favorite pieces of trivia ever. Is it? Maybe not ever. What's your What's your favorite? Piece of Mario trivia ever? Ooh, uh, that I can think of off the top of my head. Probably those really cursed flash cars that have Confederate Luigi. <laughs> <laughs> my grandfather actually used to own a set of those, where like uh, Luigi's reading like a World War II book. That level sucks, by the way. See, this looks pretty cool. This thing. This fucking song. <laughs> I know some people actually get creeped out by this guy, like they did with uh, him and I mean, it is kind of fucking creepy. I mean, look at it. Imagine being. No, a... I think it looks more goofy. Imagine, okay, I, like, like imagine being a little kid and you're on like a crappy TV, and then this just starts. Like, okay, <laughs> admittedly on a CRT, I do gotta think back to that too, because this was still CRT era. Eh, I'd still be indifferent. Did you 
Imagine we recorded one of our nephews drowning in the office to simulate. <laughs> oh my god. I hate to see what they did with the uh, Luigi's Mansion voiceovers. <laughs> we had Mr. Beast actually summon ghosts to terrify people. <laughs> Yeah, he was around back then, it was crazy. He was young, I mean, but he a, was very talented. He's a necromancer, so he's immortal. Yeah. Ah, oh, true. I mean, don't yeah, you know Mr. Beast is actually a demon from the Nether Realm? He's Quan Chi in real life. Can you imagine, like, if, like, Ed Boon is like, so we got the Mr. Beast to do the voice of Quan Chi. Can you imagine, like, Mr. Beast being on camera with the Quan Chi makeup and a shaved head? I feel like it wouldn't have the same energy as that arcade. <laughs> I actually get to see that in real life. My local arcade has that. You should, like, take a picture of it and just post it, like, to that guy who posts it all the time. <laughs> but then I risk compromising where I live. Guy like me would simply beat the eel. The eel's tasty, actually. I hear people say it's pretty good. Imagine us as a society if Richard DeVizio was still Quan Chi. <laughs> So that's a big thing. It really makes you think. It really do. And you know what? I don't like thinking, so I'm just gonna stop. Okay. <laughs> well, I guess there's also a toast for it that came out of this game. For a little bit, anyway. And then died forever. Yeah. <laughs> Which I feel like you continue to mention. Do I? Maybe it's somebody else that keeps mentioning Toadsworth is fucking dead. Can't believe he died. Wasn't even in the Mario movie. He wasn't. I can't I can't believe Kitty Gong made an appearance in that movie, but not Toadsworth. That's crazy, actually. <laughs> Did you lift on the edge? Where's he no, going? Can hey, you imagine say, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, Arpa's got like a poster of Toadsworth in his room. <laughs> yeah, Arpa would, Arpa would be the biggest Toadsworth fan. What are your thoughts on Toadsworth actually, Arpa? Do you like him? He's an okay character, I guess. Okay, but if you were playing the Mario Baseball game, would you have him on your team? Is he playable? Yeah, probably. He is. Nice. I'm still waiting for Mario Dead by Daylight. That'll be the best Mario spinoff. I am waiting for Toadsworth to have a conversation with Mr. Pickle. Professor Pickle. I feel like that's somebody's, like, 100th, like, Team Fortress. Did a Zelda mailman get buffed in this mod? He did not. He's still pretty easy to beat. But I mean... Like for the new levels. Well, he's in one of them. He's in Lighthouse Island, which we gotta go to. Oh. And if I could still call him a wuss. That guy 
guy just keeps running. He like he just runs by my mailbox. He doesn't even give me my mail. He just goes yah and then just leaves. It's called intimidation. Yeah, violence solves everything. Don't you understand? Uh, I don't like this level. What? Whatever do you not like about Pieta Village, sir? Is it this mission, perhaps? It makes me sad. What, you don't like dunking them in the water? Do you um, feel- do you feel bad? I said it makes me sad, not bad. Or do you think it's just, like, not fun to do? <laughs> Admittedly, I mean, admittedly, it's been a few years, but I just remember just never liking this. For the record, it wouldn't make me sad to dunk you all in the water. In fact, quite the opposite. Who knows, I might even be so happy I won't even let you surface for error. Oh my god. This one's not too bad. <laughs> it's the next one with involving one of these that's really interesting. Hi. Uh, so, where where does this fall onto the chain shop evolution tree? How did this creature fall? I mean, this is like a baby chain shop. Is this what baby chain shops look like? And they, yeah, they're like little dogs. Oh. So what happens to their everything when they get big? Like that Flood's like, always be kind to your pets. Don't fucking drown your dog. Thank you, Flood! I would never guess. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, Mario, be a winner. Now I wonder how <laughs> I wonder how chain shops have entered course. <laughs> Created, do they do they do it like dogs? <laughs> oh god. The sex they just... noises they would make. <laughs> oh, oh. They, they just tangle yeah. their chains. It's just, it's just like it's just like banging two action figures together. <laughs> do the chains have genitalia? Oh no. Is that is Mario grabbing their balls? See, the easiest oh, right, way I to wrangle like a... The easiest way to wrangle a chain chomp is to just grab its dick. <laughs> I'll tell you can wrangle me, to be honest. If you did that, oh, I'd bro. stop. I would stop moving. <laughs> would you make a chain chomp and noise team that I, I think I would go, ah, instead, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I would just cry. Ah, uh, so you would make a Wilhelm scream, I got you. <laughs> Wait a minute, why are you wearing my husband's face? Okay, now there's one more we gotta do. Okay. Then, you know, unfortunately, it involves us going back to an, an old friend. Uh, war? No! Oh my god. <laughs> Did you like that? It, 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 Jesus. <laughs> like, Don't you ever say his name around me again. <laughs> I'll fuck you up. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much what that was. You don't like this level the dish? Come on. I don't. If you don't like Pianta Village. Anyway, check this out. Okay. <laughs> it just dies. I'm not a fan of Mario 2. <laughs> <laughs> Awful level. <laughs> hey, this level's cool. This area. It's a bit too big though. I don't want to fuck around here, but this is pretty neat that it exists. It's just this little uh pit area. Uh, there's a bunch of there's like seven shines down there. 
It's got a bunch of piantas that fell from the village and then uh, the lore is that they're uh, they can't get back up. That's sad. The forest is dead. Yeah, and the basic idea is that they're like, yeah, hopefully eventually they'll, they'll uh, hear us down here and they'll come down and <laughs> rescue us. How do they... That's just sad. Honestly, that sounds like a least of a painful kind of situation. Okay, that bird needs to calm down. Okay, how does this work? Hi. Why is why is there a pipe up there on a palm leaf? How does it how how do you get how, how? look into the mirror and you still find out that it's still you. That's the vibe I'm getting here. <laughs> is Mario saying this to himself? No, it's a statue. Okay, okay. <laughs> Mario's just weird. I mean, yes. I like how canonically Mario's just a weird human. Okay, so anyways, the lore behind that is that apparently one of the level designers who, you know, ran out of time to, to work on this, uh, left Brown. that in there as the, uh, as a little message for the, the people that play, which is pretty cool. Because, you know, oh, real life has its ways of, uh, getting in the way, you know? I mean, I kind of, you know, a lot of video games kind of just has that, kind of adds to it. I don't know if you really get that much nowadays, honestly. I thought that was about to be a fart song, and I got very upset. <laughs> that first note just straight up sounded like a fart. Yeah, Resident Evil Director's Cut soundtrack, my favorite. Yeah, I, I was getting vibes from you, yes. I want to hear that song, this song in that sound font now. Can we have that? <laughs> Mario Pikmin Sunshine Pikmin by it. Oh, what? Mario Sunshine by a quote, death composer. <laughs> in quotes. That guy made a Japanese national anthem at one point. That's the crazy part. <laughs> <laughs> made in quotation marks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. Are you talking? Who are you talking about? The uh, guy who did the director's cut soundtrack. Oh, yeah. Made is is definitely the right way in quotes. From what I understand, he did do like a song or two in that. Both of them are probably the basement theme. <laughs> You're right. That, the guy who actually shadow developed that, he did the Onimusha one too, right? Yeah. Okay. Instead of Capcom credited him in the re releases, like, now nah, we'll just do a whole different soundtrack. It's fine. Let's see if we can't get. We can't get this thing done tonight. The next Mario Hack Mondays, we will, we will continue this wonderful journey. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna do that bonus level that I got filtered by. But now that we're at 60 FPS, it's totally easy and free. Dude, this is my favorite level, though. Probably one of my favorite new stages. I mean, just I, I love the music here. What's it from? It's original. That's really impressive, isn't it? it, it I was kind of hoping you were gonna say like that Elvis Presley Hawaii movie for some reason. 
Hey. I'm actually shocked they didn't use this this cover in more of these new stages. I think it's only in this one, which is well, you gotta be sparing with these downs, you know. But I like this remix. Yeah, but if they played it a lot more often, you wouldn't like it as much. That is not true. Uh. In fact, if it played more often, I'd be so excited I'd kill somebody. Hence why they don't play it often, because Arba would go on a killing spree. There yeah, you it's true. <laughs> I prefer hear the Mario 2 theme and be like, wow. That just makes me want to murder. You think that's what, like, <laughs> Nathan, Nathan Bates also had the, uh... <laughs> Norman Bates? <laughs> Excuse me, I don't know why Nathan came to mind. Nathan. It's your fanfic OC. You're right, his son Nathan Bates, who who goes insane to the Mario 2 theme. <laughs> oh, you know what? That one yeah, was that's interesting. The that's the sound his victims hear as they die. <laughs> they just suddenly hear, feel like a knife in their side and da 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 But, but before they like breathe their final moments, as you're stabbing them every time the stab goes in, it's like, it does the uh, losing a life sound. Ah, uh, you know what? We're getting hold, getting hold a little too much here. The death theme in this game is, is perfect. But I think it's only perfect because of like... Every, almost every time it happens, it's some like Mario Sunshine fuck shit that precludes it. Oh, that was my fault. I said this game still has the Mario Sunshine jank, but I think in spite of that. It manages to be very fun. Which is pretty impressive. It made me enjoy Mario Sunshine. Which I didn't think was possible until, you know, the modern day. I'm pretty sure I could make you enjoy Mario Sunshine if I put you in some, like, saw trap. <laughs> enjoy probably would not be what comes to mind. I would probably you wanna... be like, you want to play Mario Sunshine without a long jump? But I'd be like, no. <laughs> I was like, you want to play the game? You want to play the game? It's really bad. Turbo. You have. Two. I wish I could do the Turbo Dick's off voice because that would be hilarious. You're gonna learn how to appreciate Mario Sunshine, <laughs> or else I'll remove your legs. I mean, the trap will. I'm technically not a murderer. There is also cheating, though, you're right. <laughs> cheating is fun. Oh, I could have done. I could have skipped that entirely and just done this for the start. Oh, why didn't you know I what? Play? You're right. Hang on. I realized the one right before LP Antissimo. Look at that. We don't even have to do that yet. I love this song in this area, though. It's, it, it, I think this is, like, really cool. And I think it also mimics how, like, a lot of vacation resorts have, like, a little island area like this. Like, New York is one of them. I, I've never been to one. I thought you were going to say it mimics how a lot of vacation resorts have enemies for you to kill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah? I mean, that's, that's, that's part of the experience. There's that guy kicking him. That's not how that works. Oh, you don't like that sound dish? I don't. Especially if you put that in tangent with the the conversation earlier about chain shop sex. <laughs> well, that's piranha plant, so you're safe. I mean, am I? You are. It's plant gang, not plant bang. Imagine how all your favorite Mario enemies have intercourse. 
Koombas don't even have arms. That we know of. Well, no, they have tablet nieces, so there you go. Is that how they do it? Yes. Yeah, imagine ha having a telekine telekinetic goatsy happen to you. Alright, enough. Uh, you know what? <laughs> I'm putting a bottle cap on it now. <laughs> God, these VODs the past two days. The MILF conversation, that's one thing. They said that's one thing. So where's the killer whale that, ch that chases you? What, what is that gonna happen? This fucking pokey? Kill yourself, asshole. Die. Die, 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 die. He says as he gets hit by the pokey. Uh. It's pokey so much. You can't carry it? No. Have you tried? Okay. <laughs> I like how he never even thought about that. No, I have. Oh, okay. You are a humor in me, I got you. I am. I, I did it a lot for, for exaggerated effects, just so you would understand that you can't pick it up. It's almost like you're doing a show or something. I just lost a volleyball in a bush. For fuck's sake. It's just like grab watermelon, won't that work? I don't know how I did this before. The decons have to happen faster so someone can mod the Sonic Fork it in. See, that would be hype. I do not like that sound. Sunshine course in a Mario Golf game? Uh, I don't know about that. Okay. Ah, my God, get away from me! <laughs> Justin Creature. Ah, I don't want to hear you slurping spaghetti or whatever the sound effect you did. God! I really do. Oh, <laughs> shit! <laughs> ah, ah, God! <laughs> it is not my favorite sound. <laughs> I'm gonna get that sound as a notification for your stream. Please don't! You have a, yeah, you can have that be like a bit notification. You know what would be the worst thing? If somebody... You know how Banjo does the conversation thing? It's just that sound. I mean, they had that with, like, pooping sounds, and what the fuck is what? <laughs> Who put that there? Well, but do you, do you want to know who put that there? Me. Oh my god. Yeah, Mario! Yeah. I actually have Mario's move set. Basically, I did... Thank you, view, for for lightning gooping me. Just fucking oh fuck. All right. <sighs> Did 
They're saying vanilla, is it? Mm -mm. Okay, I was gonna say. Where'd you get those sunglasses? So, okay then. Now, do you want to see why he's good? Probably faster, right? Uh, -huh. uh I'm not going to do anything until, uh, we get into an area where I can get away from the noise, hopefully. Here we go! Uh, oh yeah, he's better. He doesn't even have the blood. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah, so basically, yeah, he, he does not have flood, he gets to throw water balloons instead. So Mario throws water balloons. Yeah, well Mario had that. Well, yeah. He's got a... Engine noise. Or his voice. I, you are taking some risks here, sir. Oh yeah, I mean... He's Virgil! This is Mario Virgil. <laughs> we're gonna beat this level and then we're gonna call it, but we we unlocked him today. And then next next stream we're gonna have uh, I'll go for Luigi, who you have to beat by just beating Corona Mountain, which means yes. So I'll, I'll go ahead and explain why Luigi's crazy. Uh, he's like Mario, but he jumps higher. Uh, he also does not take fall damage for some reason. Does he slide? No. Well, maybe a little bit, but barely. I don't. I didn't notice. Of course, I thought for a moment you were gonna say, but does he suck? <laughs> 5G Mountain. But is he green? Oh shit! I love that. I like to hear the dip for one second there. Very Sonic Generations of it. Alright, West. Oh. He does make these levels easier, though. I don't know. You ever been like too good at something that you'd wrap around to being bad at it? No. Now, this actually has a full face model under the map, doesn't it? Yep. Okay. <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> well, hey! <laughs> I was kind of hoping he would do the sound of it. Nah! Hold on. I just want to get the, the one that's at the top of the lighthouse. I guess that's why everybody has water balloons, because they don't have access to blood. I don't know if I can get up there. Yeah, whatever. We'll call it for now. Alright. Next time, we're gonna do Pinna Park. First, you can enjoy how fast he moves around. Look at him go, dude.
When they use this guy for the speedruns, they get him I as fast as why. possible. Yeah, I mean, who could ever say, really? This guy for Smash. Yeah, this guy for Wouldn't Smash. Wouldn't he be fucking lit? He'd be even faster than Tower Pain. <laughs> Tower Pain? He just goes around beating up, like, people. He's like, hey. Anyways, uh, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and call it. Have a good night, everybody, and remember. Good morning. Oh, I don't! Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, that.